I've been thinking a long time about uh, this uh, front passenger seat and more or less convinced of putting a swivel on it so I can turn it around. Uh, but lately I've been thinking if I if there's a possibility to um, turn the seat around permanently. I never use a chair. My dog Joey is sometimes on it, but not really that often. Uh, and if I can turn it and just put it in there permanently, uh, I wouldn't need a swivel. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to check that out if that just works. Before you start working on anything, you have to open this box at the, the passenger seat and Here's a switch to switch off the uh, airbag for the passenger. So I'll be loosening these four Torx screws. Okay, that's one. And then one at the other front corner. And then the two screws in the rear And the benefit is that I'm rich again. I love that I have a very sweet dog, but his hairs are everywhere. I think I'm gonna fire him. That works, I think. It doesn't work the way I want it. To do so the only thing I think I can get it to work is if I turn around the entire seat as well the pedestal I was able to unscrew this screw and take this off so it's disconnected so I can take the whole seat out so now I can sit outside <laughs> Then I can do a little bit of cleaning. Okay. I hope that it works. Okay. 
have to take the connector off again because I have to put this in first and then the connector through here. Okay, the only thing which you normally would have when you turn this chair around is this uh, safety harness that's in the way, but you can sit on it or I'll probably find a more permanent solution for that. I could only slide it back this far because I've got the center console here, but I'm sitting more or less straight up now. I still can go a lot further. You want to relax. My first impression is that I should have done this two years ago. This is the way it looks. So we've got some storage here too. I can still access this area. Adding some more wiring. This is an extension cable for the 12 volt connection for the fridge. doing a lot of leftover jobs and one of them is this cable that runs on the driver's side of the uh, van uh, I still have to remove that and get a, bit, a, bit, a little bit better location that didn't work out <laughs> the way it's supposed to be but it's out so, same thing here. And these are the shavings that I catch with my little magnet. First still some holes to fill. That looks good. okay hi guys this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV thanks for watching our YouTube channel if you enjoyed the video give us a like and subscribe or better yet uh, leave a comment thanks guys you've done a good job